So let's continue for the demo for Oracle latency installation as we have completed a pre request. So we will continue for the installation part now. But make sure what we did delete that you have to note because that is a pre request uh, is done by the my RPM package. Got it. So otherwise you have to do the manually each and every steps. So you have two way of installation. Either you can do with the RPM package, which I always prefer since Oracle has announced Oracle 12C onwards. This is the pre request RPM and this will create the, all the my configuration like the users, the group, those all. So once you will execute it, you are able to done the pre-installation task into that. So please note it and you can able to get the details. So what I am doing, if you want to go onto my blog, so that will also help you to get the idea for a step-by-step -step installation that you are able to do. So quite possible on the different OS little bit changes, but if you can follow my blog, it is clearly mentioned. And like uh, you have installed Oracle Database at NC. If it is not available on the your version or the your operating system, then you can install the pre-install 12C. Got it, so both way you are able to do. And as I have downloaded my software and everything is ready for me, so I can proceed further like in my yum already done the, all the tasks got it after the yum what we have to do we need to go for the directory creation and other things that is required so you can make the directory and then you can go for the further so now you have to make the directory so you can choose the part depend on the your machine so here what we are doing, I'm just creating the U01 app Oracle product and then I'm going to do it. But it, so once your directory will be created, then you are ready for the further to how to do that. So let's everyone please, please create your directory. Now my directory has created. So let me go for the this directory and here you need to unzip your Linux software, which you have downloaded. Got it. So that you need to unzip. So the unzip will take a couple of minutes. So I have already copied here and then you need to unzip it. So once your unzip is completed, then you are ready for the proceeding the next step. So unzip is done and then I am ready for the my installation. So you can see here the my run installer. So now let me run the my run installer. Of course, this all the thing is done by the pre request. If you are doing the manually, so that is also possible. The manual you have to do that. So in the manual case, you need to do a couple of the things in your machine. So if you are doing manually, then you have to go and you have to put the yourctl.conf file and over there you are able to need to change the, your configuration and then you can able to do it. So just open the file and as I have entered the value, if you can see, this all is done with the my RPM. Got it. I have not given it by default by the RPM it is done. Otherwise, you are able to do manually as well. So let's put the insert command and then which are the parameters you need to give that you have to assign. The pre requesting. So these are the value you have to give. In my case, it is done by the RPM itself. So FS file max, same, same new SH small, SH max. So these all you all are aware. So these RPM package like in the Oracle 12C you are doing or 11G or 10. So similar way these is required the value into your uh, so in my, my case it is already done with the rpm so i am not doing it let me quit from there 
but I hope you understood the concept how you can do it. And after putting your value, just you need to start your system system. So that's where they are going to log into your database. That means the whatever the kernel parameter you have done, that will be done onto the OS level and that will be got affected. So that's what you are able to do. So now all the pre-requests which was required that I have completed in my database. Now I'm ready for the installation. So one more thing what you have to do in the manual case you need to modify your security limits. If you remember the security limits file that you need to modify and that is also required if you are doing the manually. So this con file you have to modify and then you are able to do it and you can put the values over there as per the, your business need. So these values, the sort, how many file you want to open, those, close, those all you have to give as per the, your memory and these all you can follow on the my blog each and every step I have given over there so you can use it which are the things you are able to do with the, that but I always follow the manual way if you can search onto the Oracle 12c or 18c installation so Rajiv's Oracle workplace so you can see the all the things step by step I have given the similar way you can do on the 18c 19c I'll see which word you are doing. So like let you can see here the value we are giving, why we are giving, what is the meaning of that. Those all you can read, it will give you the idea how you can do the manually. Okay. I hope it is clear to all of you. Good. So let's come to the my and then you can save it and exit it. Exit from here. So for saving you can use escape WQ so it will write and quit from here and the manually when you are doing then you have to install the each RPMs which is required in your database these are the mandatory RPM you can see that you need to give to avoid those we have used the M in Oracle 19c you have a DNF install that you can use and Oracle Linux if you are using 8 or whatever version in my case, I'm using 8.2. That's why I have used these all the steps. Okay. So these are the RPM is required to a smooth functioning of the your database. After that, one by one, you can add the group or install for DBA operators, backup DBA, do all the things. And these all are now not needed because I have done the with the my yum with the pre-built rpm given by the oracle that's why otherwise manually we are doing so it was the time consuming earlier to avoid that still you are able to do like that so that's why i just guided you here so after that you need to make the directory so in my case i am using 18.3 but version name i have given 18 that's one and the u02 i am putting for the my or a rada then i am giving the ownership and finally, we are giving the permission onto this to the so that's where you can do manually step by step. And these are the things, of course, this we have to do if you are doing with RPM as well. So in the both case, it will work. After that, you need to reset the password of the Oracle user, give the Linux graphic permission, those are the things, and then we are ready for installation. So let me try run installer here. And then we can see how it's work in the my environment. Well, this is the Oracle latest machine. So here I am expecting some issue, which I will guide you how to fix it. So let's wait for the my installer, how it's working. So as I was expecting, error I got the error and of course this error is saying that uh, accelerated state support the OS check that means Oracle 18c was released before the Oracle Linux 8.2 got it so those record is not there and they are not able to understand Oracle Linux 8 so I need to put uh, some changes onto my machine the and then we can continue so it is asking let me click no and then I need to change it 
So the for the change, I need to modify the my CPU config file. So CPU config is basically a response file, which is saying Oracle, okay, use this one and this one. You can see here the path and other things. And that's why I put 18.000, those all you can use. And this line, which is, you need to remove. So let me go and put the value as a Oracle 8. So I'm putting it Oracle 8 and then I am save and quit. So right and quit I did. And now I will install. So now it will work fine. So some OS level things you have to do if you are doing onto the newer version. And this time I'm not expecting any issue. So let's wait is the issue is coming or not. And then we can continue with that. So no issue. You can see it came. So there's a two way for installation. Either you can create and configure with a single instance. Got it. With that one or only you can install the software. So depend on the your way of working, depend on the your need, you can do it and you can install it. In my case, I am putting the setup software only. Got it. So this and then you can click on to the next button. You are able to run it. So let me go and choose that one. We can proceed further. So I can click next. Then it is asking you the single instance you want or you want to the rack. So I'm putting the single instance. So I can use the single instance. Then same bindy, you are able to install the enterprise edition as well as the standard editions. So standard edition one is now no more supported. Of course, in Oracle 12, so you will get that one. So I am putting the enterprise edition and then Oracle base, you have to give so software location. You can see it is taking and then base you can define. And automatically you can see the everything came as per the point. Now I can install it. So before installing, it's checking the pre-request. If any missing RPM and other things that you will get the idea. So let's wait uh, result if any RPM is missing. So you can see this package is required, which is not available, plus physical memory, those two things. Got it. So this package is really needed. So I need to install that package and then we can go for the further. So let me go and install the first package. So let me open the new window. And then I can able to use for this. So I can open the new windows and I need to install that package which was missing. So let me copy that RPM package which is saying and then I can install it. So of course for that you need a any dependency and other thing is also there. So make sure you can go and you can use properly. Got it. Physical memory and other things. The 8 GB is required. Those are the things pre request. So let me install it. So that's a one drawback here. We found that Oracle 8.2 Linux is not having that capability. So what I can do for the, my installation, let me change something. Instead of that 8, I can put the 7. It is just making the full to them. So let me go and do that one. Sorry. So let me come to that window and let's give me one minute. Uh, what I can do, I can cancel this and I can need to fix the compatible or there is a one way called ignore all. So those both will work. But instead of this ignoring, what I prefer to modify the my response file. Got it. So let me insert and instead of eight, let me give the seven. And then we'll try it's just a work around. You can see or 
there is a also alternate way which you can use oracle is a saying you have to just put that export and then it will also work that is and then if you will run the installer but uh, that's where you are able to do it and we can see that as well so let's wait the screen is coming up and then we will proceed further yeah it's came so set up software only click next and that was single so here i am using the enterprise edition as we discuss and then see this time am i getting the issue or not in the pre request checking so if you can see here okay let me ignore the one package missing was fixed then a, another one is there and physical memory so let me ignore it is saying that it is expected a 8 gb ram in oracle we have a 7.49 of course 8 gb i have given to the virtual machine and then top of that they have taken the little bit for the os so that's why so i can ignore it no problem at all and then i am ready to install so this is installation will take couple of minutes and then we can proceed once installation is done so let's see so now my installation in the progress and as i said it will take 10 to 12 minutes so let's wait for that so now you can see it is saying that okay we need to run from the root this is script so generally you will get a two script but other version is already installed on this machine so that's why you are getting the one let me open the one terminal and then we can go for this installations okay so i am on the root and i can run this no i don't want to do oracle trace file analyzer otherwise it will take the time but so that is done now let me come to the my installation and here i can say okay the installation has completed successfully after that you need to create a listener and then database those all the things you all aware so that's the way you are able to install the oracle linux onto your machine i hope it give you the clear idea how to install oracle 18c on oracle linux 8.2 which is the latest one so i hope you all have completed your installation yeah so then let's test the, all the new features as per the, our course agenda what is the oracle 18c new feature that we will test start with the cdb fleet and so on so we will take here the database levels new features admin level new features multi talent level new features then what is for the data guard level new features rack level new features those all the thing we will discuss step by step in the next sessions so starting with the oracle 18c database new features so that is the first one is the cdb fleet that we will discuss and then we will continue for the another topic